Siga presents committee report on 2021 audit infractions to chief of staff. The director general of the state interest and governance authority Siga, Ambassador Edward Boateng, presented the joint report on the 2021 audit infractions by SIGA and the Ghana Audit Service to the Chief of Staff, Honorable Akosia Frema Opari, at the authorities' office premises in Accra. The presentation follows the President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Adudankwa Kufuado's meeting of board chairpersons and CEOs of specified entities on October 3rd, 2022, where he charged SIGA and the Auditor General to investigate the causes of infractions of specified entities cited in the 2021 audit report and to make recommendations as prescribed by law. In consultation with the Auditor General, the Director General of SIGA constituted a technical committee comprising professionals from SIGA Auditor General's Office on the Public Enterprises Secretariat to undertake the assignment. Receiving the report on behalf of the President, the Chief of Staff, Honorable Akosia Frema Oseo Pari, retreated the President's unwavering support for the state-owned enterprises sector. The President therefore charged SIGA, as you've been told, and the Auditor General Department to investigate the causes of infractions cited in the 2021 audit report, to also identify persons responsible and to make recommendations as prescribed by law. The final report, as presented today, shows the commitment of the technical committee, and I commend you highly for the expeditious way in which you have tackled this assignment. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the government remains committed to finding lasting solutions to the problem of non-compliance with financial reporting requirements. As such, all SOEs are expected to mainstream appropriate implementation measures to carry out the recommendations detailed in this report. The Director General of SIGA, Ambassador Edward Boateng, in his presentation expressed his gratitude to the President, His Excellency Nana Adudankwe Kufuad, for trusting him to lead his outfit to play such a pivotal role in Ghana's development agenda. He further charged the heads of specified entities to effect the report's recommendations to achieve the President's vision of specified entities contributing significantly to Ghana's GDP. Ambassador Boateng also disclosed the intent of his authority to work with governing bodies of specified entities to develop asset revaluation policies and subsequently implement them to meet best accounting practices. We are deeply grateful to you, Honorable Chief of Staff, and to the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adudanko Akufuado, for trusting me to lead SIGA, which has a very critical and pertinent role to play in Ghana's transformation agenda. I've already stated the objectives of this morning's uh, event. The first is to present the report that was, as we were instructed by His Excellency the President on the 3rd of October to the Chief of Staff. The second is for the Chief of Staff to have a conversation with all the specified entities represented by their CEOs and board chairs on one side and controller, PPA, internal audit, and um, an auditor general on the other side because the chief of staff would not like to see so many infractions. Therefore, as she asked me, what is the problem? So we are here to discuss the problem. On his part, the Minister of Public Enterprises, Honorable Joseph Kujo, instructed all board members, management, and other key stakeholders to take the report's findings seriously if we do not commit ourselves to implement the recommendations as outlined in the report all these exercises will be in vain and so i call for a high degree of commitment on the part of all the players that are um, and, and come to implement the outcome of this report on this note, I urge all board members 
and the management of specified entities and all other relevant stakeholders to acquaint themselves to the letter so far as the recommendations are concerned and implement the recommendations accordingly. Also in attendance was Deputy Auditor General Mr. Godfrey Addison, Mr. Frank Mante of the Public Procurement Authority, Mr. Mark A. Fort Adade of the Controller and Accountant General's Department, and Dr. Eric Odru Osai of the Internal Audit Agency, amongst others.